Hello and welcome again to Brownells Tech Tips. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Ubuntu under Windows with the Wubi installer for those who would like to get their feet wet in Linux and learn the operating system without the worry of messing up their hard drive, messing up their system. It installs under Windows just like any other program except for it is a separate operating system and if you do mess up Linux where it won't boot and run all you have to do is uninstall it under the Windows uninstaller or using IOBits uninstaller 2 and you can remove it from right there you'll be able to go in and do a clean reinstall and get Linux right back up and running this will allow you to learn the Linux operating system and figure out what it's all about, how it works, how the programs install, how to do things with it without having to worry so much about reconfiguring the entire system. That can come later. Most of the Linux distributions, once you learn one, you pretty well know the gist of just about all of them. And uh, this will get your feet wet in Linux in one that's a little more user friendly and a lot more graphical based although you can still do a lot with the command line in order to download the Wubi installer first you need to bring up your browser again this is Google Chrome and we need to go to www.ubuntu.com and it's U-B-U-N-T-U -U. And right off the bat, you'll see one that says, Get Ubuntu Now. Okay, and you'll want to go to the Ubuntu desktop. And scroll down, and you'll see the one, Install Ubuntu 1204 LTS with the Windows installer. This is going to give you the Wubi installer. To be able to install Linux under Windows and as you see right here Windows installer is not compatible with Windows 8 or UEFI firmware and is not available for Ubuntu 13.04 so you can only get 12.04 right now however if like me my firmware is UEFI which means I'm going to have to use the 64-bit flavor I'm gonna to have to use a 64-bit install of Linux um, and for the most part it'll let you know and it'll pop up a deal like this telling you so now we can just click the Windows installer and get the installer and it'll take you to the show you Ubuntu some love where you can answer some questions and donate if you want to you don't have to and you can see right there wubi.exe that's the installer we're after okay now that we have wubi downloaded all you have to do is click on wubi.exe in chrome and uh, any other browser you might have to click run or something like that but start the installer it'll pop up the user account control just click yes and now you can close the browser it's no longer needed and I'm gonna install this on the C drive I'm gonna go ahead and give it the 30 gig English you see the desktop environment you can select that you got Kubuntu and Ubuntu are the two main ones I would recommend going with Ubuntu instead of Kubuntu um, the others are for various other things you can read on the Ubuntu website to figure out what they are like the ED Ubuntu is for education they have several different purposes the main one is going to be the Ubuntu install and then right here you can set your username and then the password and then just click install it'll actually download the files required install Ubuntu and then once it's done it'll pop up asking if you want to restart 
Okay, and it's finished downloading the image. Now it's extracting it out, fixing to actually install it. And uh, once the install is completed and it has you reboot, don't freak out. It's going to reboot straight into Linux. And then uh, once it reboots into Linux, you'll put in your password. And I believe the default uh, web browser is Firefox. And if you don't want to play around with Ubuntu just yet, you can either A, not reboot the system just yet, or B, go ahead and reboot it. And then once it's done, tell it to reboot the system again. And instead of using the Linux uh, bootloader, to boot either Linux or Windows. Installing it this way it uses the Windows bootloader and it'll default to Windows. You actually, whenever the system boots, have a few seconds to select Ubuntu and tell it to boot into Linux rather than Windows. Depending on your internet connection, it can take a while to download that image because it is pretty decent size. And then it can take it a little while to install it. Okay, and now that it's finished extracting, it will uh, pop up asking if you want to reboot. It says complete the Ubuntu setup wizard. You need to reboot to complete the installation. Reboot now, or I want to reboot manually later. If you want to reboot it later, you can select later. If you want to reboot it now, just go ahead and select reboot now. Okay, and I just gave it the command to reboot. Force it. It's on a HDMI, and given the fact that I don't have the HDMI drivers and stuff, it's going to boot to that screen. Booting Ubuntu. And now it's ready for the password. There we go. And there you go, that's the first boot into Ubuntu with the Unity desktop. To reboot all you gotta do is go up here to the upper right hand corner where you have the little gear and then go to shutdown and click restart. And now it's gonna restart and it'll give you the menu in just a minute. I have the option to pick Windows 7 or Ubuntu. If you leave it alone for five seconds, it'll just default and go straight to Windows 7 or Windows, whatever operating system you got installed. Now, let's say by chance you actually do goof up and mess up your Linux install and Linux won't boot under Windows. So, all you have to do is go to your uninstaller. Of course, if the user account control pops up, just select yes. And under all programs, you can scroll down until you see Ubuntu. Yep, right there. Select that. 
and select uninstall and it's gone or of course naturally you can go to your control panel by clicking start go to control panel and then uh, the programs or programs and features and again you're going to look for Ubuntu under here and you can install uninstall it from here I would highly recommend right there it is I would highly recommend if you're going to uninstall it to use IOBits Uninstaller 2 and make sure to do the powerful scan to wipe out everything and then from there you can use Wubi to reinstall and get right back up and running and playing around in Linux and this way if you totally trash the operating system no harm no foul just remove it reinstall it go again remember what didn't work try different things and that's the easiest way to get your feet wet in Linux to start learning the Linux operating system Linux comes with its own office suite uh, Ubuntu I believe comes with LibreOffice which is a lot like OpenOffice and Microsoft Office it works pretty well uh, it comes with a lot of already pre-installed software different games browsers and of course you can go to your programs or your package manager or program manager and uh, download and install a lot of the programs that's right there that you can install directly off the internet but that's probably the best way to get started in Linux Ubuntu is also one of the more user graphical friendly Linux operating systems thanks for watching and as always like watch and share and have a good day.